So I just picked up the U-Haul trailer. Here she is, looking beautiful back there. In today's video, I will be documenting my entire progress of renting a U-Haul trailer. It's a six by 12 cargo trailer, and I will be towing a load full of all my stuff with my 2007 Ford Ranger with the four liter V6. If you're interested in seeing how this baby handles all that weight. Make sure you watch until the end of the video. This will be my second tow with this truck. I have towed with U-Haul before. I'm heading over to the U-Haul place right now off of Kingston Pike in Knoxville, Tennessee. I'm gonna go and get the trailer hooked up and then go pack up all my stuff. So I just picked up the U-Haul trailer. Here she is, looking beautiful back there. Now before you're, you pull off of the U-Haul parking lot, U-Haul sends you a text message and wants you to verify the cleanliness and the condition of the trailer or truck, whatever you're renting. And it shows you a couple pictures that the sales associate, the guy working at uh, U-Haul, took with his phone and it shows you those pictures and it just wants you to verify that yes the trailer has no damage or it is dirty or not dirty so then you can avoid charges when you go and turn the trailer back in i know this trailer is empty but the ranger is doing a great job already it this far in the video i want to thank you so much for taking time out of your day to watch i'm going to start to wrap the video up here and within the next minute or so but before i go i want to talk about a couple things like i said this was my second trip that i've ever done with a u-haul trailer the first trip that i did with u-haul was with the same type of trailer it was a 6x12 cargo trailer and i traveled 400 miles when i was moving down from michigan to knoxville and then this trip here for this video, same type of deal, moving all my stuff 400 miles. And the only difference between this trip and my last trip was the type of trip. Now, U-Haul does offer two different trips. You can go with a one-way trip or you can do a, they call it around town type of trip. Now... You may be able to figure this out. The in-town trips definitely are more affordable. They do cost less than a one-way trip. So meaning if you were to take the trailer or truck one way, pick it up in one location and drop it off at another location, that would hike the price up quite a bit. My first U-Haul trip was a one-way trip and that costed me $800. To have that trailer for four days and travel 400 miles with the nice thing about the trips whether it's one way or a round trip is they do give you unlimited miles so you can go as many miles as you would like with the truck or the trailer so like i said the first trip was 800 dollars, and that was a one-way trip 
and for this trip in this video i did another 400 miles and that was a round trip so technically i did 800 miles total and the cost of the round trip was $212.99 and for both trips I did purchase U-Haul's most affordable insurance offering that they give you for the trucks and trailers. I believe it's an extra 20 bucks or so. It covers five grand. I forget exactly what it covers, but you can go on uhaul.com and check out all these specifics. I don't want to give out any misleading information there. If you have any questions, comment down below. I'd love to hear from you. Thank you so much for taking time out of your day to watch this video, and hopefully I'll catch you in the next one. Take care. Have a great day. We interrupt this program for an important news announcement.